So I'm pretty sure I just found an ear gauge. I haven't found one of those in a while. It's a small one, I guess. Hey, had a penny sound. Look what I got. Nice. So this is probably a tungsten. It does have some writing in it. Yeah, it says tungsten carbide. Very cool. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that. I thought I had a penny for sure. It's actually coming up at 22 on the mine lab. So anyways, I've, I think I've found this almost the exact same style several times, but you know, tungsten's not really worth anything. You know, brand new, this might be 50 or 100 bucks. Not used though. But hey, a ring is a ring. Okay, so you guys know those little coins, they say toy money on them. That's what this is. It's all folded up, but I can see it's like a, one of those old things of play money. Somebody bend it all up, so maybe I can straighten that out. Still got writing on it. So, anyways, that's a cool little find. Sometimes these even have a date on them. So, I don't know. Maybe we'll get back to this one. Maybe I can get it all repaired and then see if there's a date. Alright, you're probably not going to be able to see much on this. I had to use my loop to check it out. But I did get it open. And I don't know how I got in that condition. I don't know if I got hit by a mower. Got shot by a bullet. I don't know what's going on with it. But anyways, it's a 10 cent play money token. And it says Texatoy. And it has like a boot on it. Like a cowboy boot. And it says 1954. Well, there's my hole. I'm going to turn around. So get out of the wind a little. How green that is. Yeah, there's one green weedy. Been in there a while. Let's see if I can get a year. It's like 1945. Let's see what else we can get. Well, that is the strangest piece of jewelry I think I've ever dug. Look how weird the back is. I just broke off something. No clue. Alright. That's a big old ring. I don't know. Is this something for a dock? Horse tack? No idea. Hey, this is really deep high sound. Like, I can barely hear it. So, it's a little last big Okay, here we are again. So I've never hit this little lake before. Um, so you can see there's like little buoys down that say swim area. 
And then over here, there's some docks that they've taken down for the winter. Looks like you know, that's what people uh, jump off of. So I don't really know where they swim, but I think they swim out in this area over here somewhere. But I'm probably gonna do a little beach, a little bit in the water. It's about 40 degrees, so it's a little chilly. Probably save the water till the end. All right, see what we can get. Okay, my first target. You got me a penny. Okay, I got a few pull tabs. Now a nickel. All right, since I last checked in, I bet you I've dug 50 coins. I mean, I haven't got a single piece of jewelry. It's so crazy. And usually in these swimming areas, people lose jewelry. It's kind of what I'm here for. I mean, of course, you'd like to bump into an old coin or something, but... Anyways, I got a lot of swimming area left, though, so hopefully it's not just clad. All right, this is almost too good to be too true. Just a booming tan. Yep. Foil. Well, pop can. Well, it is pretty. That's for sure. But that was a lot of digging. All I got <laughs> is about 50, 60 clad coins so far. I'm hungry. Well, <clears throat> I know I got about two hours left. Hopefully, I can bump into something good. There's got to be something in this swimming area. Holy cow, I did it! I got an earring. <laughs> wow that was a big fest the cool thing is though this might be silver it sure looks silver um man the color on that is really got me thinking that's silver. Let me see if I can find a mark. Hold on. Oh, dude. It is. 925 right there. So what do we got? It's like a flower earring. <laughs> it ain't much. But that's silver. Oh, just the other thing I wanted to say about that is... It was coming up a 16, so there you go. 16 on the Equinox. Pretty low number for silver. So I was going through the trash, trying to get all my coins and everything situated for the wrap-up. And look at that. I remember digging this. I thought it was just going to be like a fishing weight. I didn't even look at it that close. It was all packed with dirt, and it was kind of dark. I thought, oh, it's just one of those fishing weights. Look at that. A little jingle bell. I have no idea what this would be used for. It's so small. I wonder if this was off like a dog collar or maybe they're using it as a fishing signal. Maybe it's off like a kid's sleigh. I have no idea. I think it's too small to be considered a croto bell. I have no idea. Let me know. This is so cool. I mean, this is no chintzy bell. This thing's like solid brass. Super nice. It's got to be, I don't know, late 1800s, early 1900s, I would think. I just don't think they made anything this fancy recently. But anyways, I don't normally do a wrap-up, but I just wanted to show you how many coins I dug. There's my junk pile. So this was kind of the perfect area. Because you can see there's a lot of activity. And people are swimming. And so. Obviously what I'm hoping for is I'd lose a ring. Look at all these nickels. Any one of those could have been a gold ring. Just didn't happen today. 
But I've had this happen before where I went to a place and I just dug clad for like a day straight. And then the next time I went, I found two gold rings. So, Anyways, this just shows you, man, you got to stick with it. I did get one piece of silver, though. But look at that. Surprise treasure. Didn't even know I had it. Alright, thanks for watching.